Cicero. Hmm? If things do not go well inside... I will not abandon you. It's not that. I need you to know how grateful I am for everything that you've already done. We'll be fine, Calvin. Hmm. And this is his brother's? Yes, Head Matron. I spoke with Mirabas after Calden had visited the hall some days ago. She told me that his brother had intended this for him. He rarely spoke of this brother of his. Of course. His family likely was too ashamed to call him their blood. Their chimes would be in jeopardy. As they are in your hands? Ah, Calden. It's a pleasure to see you. Likewise, Head Matron. And Inspettore Gavar, it's been a while. Head Matron? Now. Mariner, you are aware of the reason you have been called here? I have my suspicions. Your sleeve, then, if you will. Matron, if I might have a... Your sleeve, Calvin. Hmm. There, Matron. It is true. What is true, exactly? Matron, I spoke of this earlier. That tattoo is proof that- That what? Answer me precisely, if you would. What do you mean? Calden has a tattoo. And I do not see anything unusual about art on the skin. But that tattoo is evidence that he deserves to be punished. For what? Precisely. He is Talios. And is that my business, or is it his? You are defending him. As a matron should, for her own people. This is against the laws of society. Society governs those laws, songstress. And as the leader of a large part of that society, I choose to stand by this man. This? No. Orlana! Calden! Zelia. I will call for Mira Boss. Thank you. Orlana, please. Stay back! Please, Orlana, put the chime down. Do not tell me what to do, beast! You corrupted my brother! Listen to me, please! How did you defile his mind? I did not! Liar! You must have fed him something, given him some poison to turn him into... into a beast like you! I did no such thing. He was my brother! And you took him away from me. I loved him. As did I. You speak of poisons and defilement and treachery. The truth is far simpler. I... I loved him. But you took him away from me. You took away my brother and replaced him with... something else. That is not true. He was always the same romantic, sentimental man that you grew up with. This doesn't change that. If there is a reason to be angry at me, it is because I was a coward. It was because of my fear of being honest about who I was, about what we were, that stopped me from giving him the support that he needed. When he needed it the most, I shouldn't have abandoned him, but I did, and I am sorry. Sorry isn't going to bring my brother back. Olana! Something is wrong. Olana! Calden, the chime! Help me, Cicero! Cicero! Matron, she was hit hard.
She will require extensive healing. Her pulse is barely there. I must take her down now, or she will not survive. Go, Zelia. We'll handle this. Something is wrong. It is never this aggressive. What happened? Orlana tried to feed it the chime, but it attacked her. Attacked her? Ages. It's out of control. And the chime? It took it. Then it's feeding off the song. We need to kill it. We cannot afford to let it remain like this. What about the chime? If we are quick enough, the song might survive. Sisters! Prepare yourselves. I hope you're ready, Cicero. As I'll ever be. Now, Cicero! So the storm begins! Watch it. No.
Thank you, Cicero. That Fay, ages knows what happened to it. I've always wondered why you songstresses wanted to keep people out. That isn't the reason. For all the centuries the singing tree has been here, it's never acted like this. Oh. What are you thinking? Something is happening. Something that we cannot see, that is on a level beyond us. It frightens me to wonder what it might be. Indeed. But it is settled, at least for now. As for other matters... He's a good man, Mirabas. Saved Olana when he could have saved the song. And now that song is gone forever. You will consider my request, though? Society will not change, even if I do this, Cicero. I'm not asking for it to. But please, even you can tell that he is deserving of better. Perhaps I am being blinded by tradition, but I suppose I can do this. As a favor to him for saving the life of my songstress, even if she might not have been quite so generous. Thank you, Mirabath. I will tend to it now. I'll be back shortly. How are you feeling? The head matron has decided to leave the sail heart in my care. There's great consolation in that. Calden, will you face me, please? Why? Tell me, Calden. Please. It's not worth a life. Jax has taught me that. When I went to the sail heart, there were children there. Did they call Jax as their father? They do. Could I meet them? Of course. That would be nice. I think... I think I'll see you around. I know it's not Razatov, but... Take your heart, take my hand I will lead you through storm and fire The blood may thin, the bow may break But our cradle will ever be shared The wound will heal, the songs will ring and soon again will your spirit sing Take my heart, take your hand I await you in promised land <laughs> All right, big man <laughs> Rise, my brethren. It is found. Is your face all right? You haven't stopped smiling since we left the hall. <laughs> it's just... All my life I've lived in fear, and now... You've changed my life, Cicero. Oh, come now. I didn't do... You showed me that even in a city of secrets and shadows, the truth has a place in our hearts and is worth fighting for. I know the city isn't going to change because of what we've done, and the Hall of Songs probably isn't going to sail to different winds overnight. But you've made a difference, Cicero. In my life, at least. Know that. I think I might have needed this ordeal as much as you. 
Come on. Let's see if our fey friend is back. Tower. It's not sharp with s s spires. It's more of a tall dome. What's going on? Keep going. Salting, I can't believe I hadn't seen this earlier. You've lost me. It was the key to understanding Dementica. Adaran Vamus, the first man who sorted and retained a portion of his mind, could, during his lucid moments, read, write, and speak Dementica, just like Vasco. He was the cornerstone upon which all research into the language was based. What are you saying? I'm saying it's a bridge. Sorting connects the two... Souls, the two minds, the two spirits, whatever you want to call them. And it happens when we use the Masquerine's powers too strongly. Tap too deeply into another soul. So they're connected? Exactly. And now all the stories of the past are at our fingertips. Imagine all that we could learn now that we understand this connection. All right. So what's the poor bloodling done to deserve this? Vasco has claimed that he's had a few memories that seem to have been left over by the Dementicate, who'd been his masquerine. He thinks he can see what the city might have looked like. We're trying to replicate it. Remember, Bulbous. I think I've got it. And that's it? Let me see. What does it look like? I don't quite know what to make of it. Vasco. I can make out a long tower over there, but... Amadea, that's not a tower. That's a man, with his trousers down. That's his, um... Vasco! <laughs> Will you please take this seriously? <clears throat> I, I only see vague images. Nalior, not enough for anything sub sub substantial. I suppose it was worth a try. Rotten swine, you. Well, now that everything's settled down, I think we've kept our questions in the shadows for long enough. About the sunken star, right. You'd best sit down. First we learn that Mask Green's are Dementicate, and now you're telling me that they're Fey as well. It makes sense. The increase in the mists in the recent years corresponds with the destruction of the hundreds of Masquerines in the War of Bearings. This is incredulous, Inspitore. The Fey have been around since time immemorial, and no one has managed to learn where they've come from. Until now. Think about it, Marshal. Masquerines and Fey. Two things that have existed before the city was even built. Is it really so surprising that they're related? And Lucia was led by one of them? Is. If I could get out of there alive, I'm certain she made it through as well. But, yes. She's being led by a fae they call the Lady. Being Dementicate, she has knowledge of the world that we haven't even glimpsed. You said she's trying to stop another cataclysm from occurring. She mentioned something about uniting the city. Bringing the artifacts together. She handed me some scrolls about Dementicate history to read, but I haven't had the time. Well, now we do. It's not a long record. It explains the downfall of their civilization. In summary, the single event that served as the pivot for the success of their empire was a civil war. Sounds familiar. What was this war about? The artifacts. For a long time, they were used by the Dementicate to push the boundaries of their empire. Which supports what we found at the Conoscenza. But it couldn't last forever. Not with the way the artifacts worked. Calden! The way they worked? Inspiratore! I'm sorry, Marshal. The artifacts were what were responsible for turning the souls of the Dementicate into masquerines. They created the Dementicate's power. And everyone knows this? Marshal, I, I wanted to tell you. Carry on. Tiziana. Stop wasting my time. How did the Dementicate fall? 
When the artifacts were received by the Dementicate, they initially sacrificed their prisoners to create the Masquerines. When their empire expanded, they began to turn to ordinary men and women instead. As you can imagine, that did not end well. U uprisings? Exactly. Their empire was cleaved in two. Those who wanted to continue using the artifacts, and those that demanded that they be kept away, saying that it cost them too much. Well, the artifacts are nowhere to be found, so I assume the latter faction won? Correct. And that is when their empire began to crumble. Without the powers of the artifacts, they couldn't stand against the chaos of the world. Chaos? It isn't explained exactly what it was, but I think it is safe to assume that it's related to the Cataclysm. If these scrolls don't mention what the Cataclysm is, then why does Lucia believe another is in store for us? I don't know. But what I do know is that she believes that she needs to unite the city. And she intends to do that by overthrowing the Registry. Just on time. Kadik? Ah, Sam, Bel, Ia. Arish? Ah, Sam, Bel, Ia. The Assemblia. It wants us to go to the Altis. The Misted Isles. Ah, of course. I'm sorry, I don't follow. The Misted Isles. A set of monuments left behind by the Dementicate. The Altis built the Assemblia around it to keep people out. Vasco, what's on these monuments that it wants us to see? Can't it just tell us what's on it? Avar? Don Sivnia, Santa, Atavar. No, they're g guarded, and he doesn't rem remember precisely, but he promises they're important. It's all right. At least now we have a lead. Tiziana should go with you. The relationship between the Altus and the Luca is the strongest of all between the Samora. It might help ease our way in. Well... Do I smell hesitation? Oh, fine. Better get ready, then. Talking to yourself again? Just thinking about the behavior of the Fae. The way they respond to the old world, like the Kilgin in the Cleaver, so careful not to touch the relics. Or those in the pin drop, and the way they shied away from the statue of their god. I always thought they exhibited such strange behaviors because of some inherent power in the relics or something. But they must remember that the items were part of their world. For all I know, the Kilgan could have been my custodial predecessors thousands of years ago. You're rather quick to humanize them. I don't think most Fae remember who they once were. Not fully, perhaps, but there is a sliver of humanity in each. That's what the Scythe are. Fragments of humanity used as a seed for the Fae to be born out of. It might be merely a fragment, true, but still. I shouldn't let this get too much in the way. We have work that needs to be done, and I'm sure there'll be time later. Cicero, about earlier. I suppose she had to find out eventually. My mind has just been so overwhelmed. Keeping secrets seemed like the least of our concerns, especially now with... Tides. What's bothering you? Lucia. She's being led by a Dementicate who's been around longer than all our legacies combined. It just worries me what we're standing up against. We've come this far, haven't we? I suppose we have. All right. Chin's up, then. Marshal. Inspettore. You know why I did what I did. I do. It's because you don't trust me. I trust you perfectly fine. Your guild, on the other hand. After all this time, you still don't see it. I'm sorry? I am my guild. 
Inspiratore. With hindsight, I suppose I should have made that clearer. Might have spared us both some inconvenience. Oh, you're looking much better. Time heals. <laughs> I'll be all right, eventually. I have something to show you. Wait, that's... Jeff's? It has been a while. I cannot believe this. All these years, you're hurt. I'm sorry, but I couldn't jeopardize my new life. Your life with the Laboris? It seemed the best way to find out who it was that killed my parents. And it's paid off. You've discovered who it was then. Benak. <sighs> Not just yet. But that is a m m mission for another time. A, a time when the whole of Umber is not at stake. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> I tried. The whistles. And the golden canvas. And the sunken star. That's why you did it. Why you were willing to salt. Yes. I c c couldn't leave you. Not again. Ages. Where do we go from here? First things first. C continue to address me as Vasco, please. It's stuck. I understand. And secondly, I do not see why this has to change anything. I am still in your company. We still search for the tools to save all of Umber. We keep going. That's what we do. All right. Let's find these artifacts then. <laughs> Let's find these artifacts. Hasn't anyone told you it's rude to stare? Sir, are we really traveling with that thing? It needs to follow us, so yes. Does it, um, understand us? Perhaps. It certainly isn't stupid. Right. Well, anyway, uh, where are we going today, sir? The Assemblyer, please. Right away.
You need to hide. Comfortable? But well, we can't have a Fey walking around with us now, can we? Let's go.